what is all this hoopla about firmware not working with your 3D printer? Recently, I did a 4.27 silent board upgrade to my Ender 3. You should actually take a look at that video if you want to get a better understanding of this one because some of the things that I will be talking about in this video will be in reference to that video. So take a look at that video first. So let's get into the reasons why your firmware does not work with your printer. You have to realize that most of the budget printers being used are for the hobbyist space. And as hobbyists, oftentimes we mix and match different parts to make a Frankenstein printer. The main go-to firmware for the 3D printers is Marlin, which is open sourced. So even the manufacturers will use the open source firmware to compile their own firmware. And you have to realize that most of the time you're downloading pre-configured compiled firmware. So this is why there is a incompatibility issue with the firmware and hardware. This video is not going to be a step-by-step -step guide. It's going to be more of a general knowledge type of video where by comparing different firmware for the different boards, you'll be able to get a better understanding of compiling your own firmware, which in the long run will help you in getting firmware that is actually compatible with your printer. I'm actually looking at this configurations download right here. This is the configuration for the bug fix. It's unzipped and we'll go here, take a look at the config file, the examples. <clears throat> Here we can scroll down and look at the list of different manufacturers that make the 3D printers. We're going to take a look at this Creality folder. Here you have the many different types of printers. And we're going to take a look at the Ender 3 printer. The Ender 3 has many type of motherboards that could be implemented with the Ender 3. Now, first we'll go to the Creality version one. This was the main printer or the stock printer that came with the Ender 3. And we're gonna take a look at this configuration.h file. So I'm just gonna open this up. Here we have the configuration H for the Ender 3 version one. The Creality version one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm also going to open this um, another file. We're going to go back to Creality, Ender 3. And this time we'll be looking at the Creality version 4.2.7 board indicated here. So we'll go here and then we are going to look at this configuration.h file. And we're going to open it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, select both by holding shift and clicking on both of them. And then we're going to right click and then we're going to do compare selected. And this is the original stock 8-bit board. And this is the 32 4.2.7 board. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to see where the uh, text is different from the left and right. As you can see um, from here, here, everything looks the same. It's a carbon copy. It's set right here. And as you can see, the string right here says the author, this is Keith B, basically made the changes to this firmware. And also right here, we have dust that has made changes to this file also. So what we're going to do is look at the comparisons. We can scroll down by using the scroll mouse, or we can actually just use this right here to look through where the changes were made. And you can see on the version um, one, we have a serial port of zero. Here we have one. Any type of upgrades that you may have made, uh, you have to define it over here. But we're just going down and taking a look at the differences between these two boards or these two configuration file. You can see that it is using a MLZ board. And then here we have the 4.27 board. And then we have the different custom names. Uh, Ender 3, 
So here we have a little bit of difference. You know what? It is a typo right here. That's the difference, I think. Typo. Yep, it is a typo right here. This uh, space over here, it really does not matter if there's a space between the double four slash, which is a comment. When this editor is taking a look and making the comparisons, it is making comparisons with each character. So any type of space, any type of period, any type of punctuation that may be incorrect, it will uh, notice it and apply the red highlight. Right here, it's empty. So these are added lines. <laughs> but from looking at the top and looking at the bottom, it looks like these are the same right here. So it's meant to be the same thing. When testing, instead of uh, deleting everything and copying and pasting, what often happens is the uh, user will comment the lines, disabling and enabling certain lines. So instead of using these values, now these values will be used instead. Uh, it's a faster method of working, and this is the reason why um, I think this was placed here. So we'll look down and then you can see that there is the A4988 drivers for the motors and the TMC2208 standalone. So you can see right here, they've inverted the stepper value uh, or inverted the direction of the motor. So true, false, you can see this is in opposite order. And then this is extruder. So we'll go down the list. And then everything seems to look the same. What is this? Uh, the CR10 stock display is enabled. And then if it is enabled, it's saying use the RET six underscore one two eight six four underscore LCD and this is the stock display for the Ender 3 and the CR10. Now I'm just gonna close this file and close this file. Um, don't save. This time we're gonna open the file. Ender 3, the 4.2 version, configuration H, and then we're going to open the file. I'm going to go to the bug fix, Marlin, Marlin, and this is uh, the configuration file that I've made changes to. So this is basically for the 4.27 board. Hold on, let me just select these right here. And then we'll do a compare selected. So this is the original 4.27 board. Um, this is the 4.27 board configured to my printer. And then here we go, I've defined this port to serial port number two and made it into a number three. The baud rate, change that. The next component we have, hold on, we'll go here. I've defined the BL touch. I defined the nozzle to probe offset, the probe margin to 30. And what's the next one? Z after probing, I've defined it and added a 10. These travel limits, I've switched it out. And then we defined the bilinear. So all he did was activate some of the components within the 
actual firmware. G28. Safe homing. And again, those are the only changes that I've made to this firmware. Now I'm going to close this out. I want to take a look at open file, Creality, Ender 3 Pro, the 4.27 board. And there's really not going to be any difference, but we'll take a look. We'll do a compare. Uh, there is a change right here. This is, says Ender 3 and this is an Ender 3 Pro. Um, again, Ender 3 and Ender 3 Pro. But there are really no differences in it. Uh, again, this is, um, they were probably testing some of the components and decided to comment this out and then define this one um, this you can actually just remove this right here because it's a duplicate but if you go down the list everything is the same again this is because there is a space again everything seems to be the same The default configuration.h file is actually configured for your printer, but any type of options that you have, like the BL touch, has to be enabled. So the configuration.h file, you can kind of think of it where you turn components on and off, sort of like a toggle switch for your lights. That's kind of like how you should uh, think about it. And sometimes you do have to add different values to your components, like the um, offsets. For the most part, everything here is in plain English um, right here, especially the comments. If you look through them, you'll be able to find what they mean and how to configure it. By looking at the comparisons, I hope you are able to distinguish that the names of the printer are pretty much arbitrary. You have to go by the names of the board, especially like the Ender 3. They have different versions of boards that go on the Ender 3 depending on when it was built. And although a lot of the code does not really change in the configuration H file, again, it may be a different board that the firmware was compiled to. Now the configuration underscore advanced H file is more for the uh, people that have a general knowledge about electronics. Most of the things that you'll be doing in here is actually uh, getting different values and making certain calculations and inputting the values manually. So in some cases you may be using specialized tool like a multimeter. So it says right here, advanced settings, only change these if you know exactly what you are doing. Some of these settings can damage your printer if set improperly. There's actually a lot of things going behind the scenes that you don't really see and those you really don't have to touch, but I'm going to go into it a little bit. We're going to go to the actual source and then we're going to go to the core and then we're going to go to the boards and then you can see right here it is um, for the 4.27 board. It is defined and you have the chipset right here. That is being referenced. You can see it is the STM32 ARM Cortex M3 chip that is being used. Let's go here and take a look at the pins. STM32 F1. We'll click on that and then we'll go here to the Creality version 427.h and you can see there are pins that are mapped to this uh, board 
And then it says right here, include pins Creality version 4H, which is this one right here. And then we'll just open it on this side. Pins for the BL Touch. And you can see there are more pin mappings. If you read right here, it says each of these files contain pin definitions for a single board. Some pins file form the basis for other pins file. Most notably, pins underscore ramps dot h. So we'll go here to the pins dot h ramps. Okay, right here. There are a lot more pins that are here that are being referenced. Before I conclude this video, I'm going to make one more comparison. We're going to go to the configurations, configurations, examples, and we're going to go ahead and open the Creality. Ender 3, the 4.27 board, and then we're going to go to the configuration H, and then we're going to open the file. Uh, this time we're not going to go to Creality, we're going to go to the config, and we're going to check out another printer. The Prusa, which is pretty popular, we'll go here. It says here it is using the MK3S Big Tree Tech uh, BTT002. And we're going to go look at the configuration H. And we are going to make a comparison. Compare selected. And you can see here. I'm going to go down. The boot screen, screen image, and I'm just going to go scroll through this pretty fast. You can see that some of the values are being changed based on the hardware specs of the actual printer. However, the text or how the firmware is compiled or where you have to turn on and off the individual hardware components is pretty much the same uh, per board. You can see there are different PID values for the bed. Different stepper motor drivers. And again, for most of default settings, much of the hard work has been done for you by the developers. They added all the default settings for that printer board. So all you really need to do is enable the options or hardware that you added to that board. And I'm just gonna quickly go through it. Uh, by showing you this, I want you to know that it is not too difficult to compile your own firmware. So if you have a chance, you should give it a try. And I suggest that you don't change anything within like the source folder. The only thing you really need to touch is the configuration H and the configuration underscore advanced H file. If you want to try out some of the experimental components, sometimes you may go through the source file to look at some of the reference, like the particular board or maybe the pin map out, things like that. But do not touch it. Do not change any of the source code. Don't change anything inside that folder. Uh, use it only as a reference because any type of changes in the syntax or text is going to be uh, case sensitive. Uh, any type of punctuations you may put, uh, spaces you may put is going to break the code unless it's within those comments. Stick to the configuration H file and the configuration advanced file if you're willing to experiment with your printer. So I hope you guys got something out of this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Please um, like this video and share it with others. And my name is James. I'll see you next time. Thanks.